Salam guys. Hi guys. Um, so this is the start of my Ramadan vlog. I still have my scarf on because I just prayed Dravi. It's the night before, clearly. Um, it's about 20 past 12 and I finished praying Dravi about 5-10 minutes ago. And I'm gonna sleep for a bit because inshallah I am starting a new job soon. So I need to get into a routine where I actually sleep before Sehri and then wake up afterwards and then go back to sleep again because I won't be so tired um, just as most working people do be um, so yeah I thought I'd start the vlog I still have my scarf on like I said because um, I just prayed Dravi obviously and I just wanted to vlog to say to you guys I did 20 Dravi 20 or 20 Dravi it usually doesn't happen every single year it happens occasionally but I'm hoping to read 20 every, or 20 every single night this year that's one of my aims this year because you know getting all the extra about the thing is great <laughs> usually I find it difficult to read all 20 so yeah because my legs start hurting like I have really strange knees like they click so much so yeah um, but that was one of the reasons why I wanted to start the vlog now but I'm gonna go to sleep for a bit my sister is awake upstairs I can hear her because she's got an exam so she's revising but I'm gonna sleep but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep because I normally don't sleep by this time normally I sleep around two o'clock roughly just before Fajr like way before Fajr actually like two-ish kind of thing usually so yeah but we'll see if I can fall asleep now <laughs> but yeah that is all I just wanted to start off the vlog I guess um and say happy Ramadan everyone Ramadan Kareem and I hope this month goes well for everyone with all the positivity and those of extra padat and duas and yeah okay I'll catch you guys for Zehri because I can hear someone in the corridor Alright guys, so it's actually kind of late in the afternoon. I forgot that I'm vlogging this month. Oh, it's an extra thing to remember. Um, it's currently just gone past five in the afternoon. I haven't done a lot per se. So, I mean, that's mainly why I didn't vlog. I just forgot, like I said. Um, obviously, I've prayed or heard. I've read some Quran. And I was going to do a bit of editing now. I have some other things to edit, like for my main channel. I have some things that I just forgot to do. So I'm going to do some of that now. And then me and my mum are going out after she's um, read Quran. Like, she's reading Quran right now downstairs in the living room. I saw her when I went down. So she said she'd call me after she's done reading some Quran herself. And then we're going to go because we have to go post office and stuff. And then while we're doing that, we'll do like a little walk near the fields that are near our house. Because I decided we should do a bit of walks every day or a couple of times a week you know just to keep exercising and stuff so we're not sedentary is that the word like just still stationary the whole time and stuff so yeah so mainly we're just going to the post office um but we thought we'd do a slight walk while we're doing that maybe we won't go to the fields i don't know but either way walking to the post office it's a bit of a walk too so it's fine so yeah because the post office near us closed is kind of late so it's fine but we thought we'd go now before us or um, since also is like way after six, like half past six, I think, or something like that. I can't remember now exactly. My timetable's in my wardrobe. Let me see. Mm. 6.19 here. I mean, it varies per mosque, but this mosque that's near our house that my dad goes to, it says 6.19, so yeah. Um, but I'm not going to do a lot now, like I said. I'm just going to do a bit of editing because I've already read some Quran. I'm going to read some more Quran after Asr as well. Hopefully, inshallah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, just trying to get into a routine because it's the first day. So, it's a bit, like, weird. Um, it usually takes, like, a couple of days. I'm actually not hungry. I'm thirsty more than anything. Definitely thirsty. I felt like I drank enough liquids, but clearly not. Um, so, today, that's the aim. After have thought to drink enough water. Like, space it out until you know steady time kind of thing so yeah but um hunger nothing my stomach doesn't feel empty or anything like that i had porridge <laughs> so it was very filling for steady obviously but yeah that is all for now um i will keep you guys updated obviously the next time you might see me might be a story time to be honest i have no idea what we're having i think we're having roti tonight so like chapati and curry and stuff um because my mom said when she comes back from there she's gonna make um some curry so some kind of lentil some kind of like Bean, kidney bean maybe or something like that I don't know she hadn't decided yet and she said we might as well have that for tonight and I'm like that's fine it's no major deal it's filling enough it's fine kind of thing so yeah that is all for now though <laughs> it feels weird to be vlogging again but anyways I will get used to it and hopefully my body will get used to Ramadan again as well it only takes a couple of days usually so just feeling a bit sluggish but I think that's pretty normal considering it's the first day for me so yeah anyways
Bye, guys. Hi folks, wow, <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god, it's day two of Ramadan um, and it's pretty late, it's like just gone past four in the afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hold you and do things that I need to do because I'm getting ready to go to the shower because it's hair washing day as we can tell. Um, so I thought I'd try and get it over and done with as soon as possible because before we know it, it'll be iftari time and like everyone in the house, well not everyone but the kids, we all like to like wash our hair and shower on a wednesday usually i usually shift between a wednesday and thursday because i only wash my hair twice a week because it's kind of wavy so it doesn't need really washing more than that usually so i thought i'd vlog a bit i'm feeling a lot better today the beginning of this vlog would have been so um like not so great because i was feeling very lethargic as expected it was the first rosa um and i think most of us tend to feel a bit iffy on the first one because our body's kind of just like oh what's going on here kind of thing so yeah um so i've been out today i've went out to the post office not post office um i went to get a screen protector on my phone because the one i paid a lot of money for broke which is so annoying um i literally slid off the phone by itself like it lost its stickiness and fell off the phone and then it fell on the floor and cracked not too sure what's going on there to be honest so yeah i got a new one and then i also went to go with bus pass made because i start a job tomorrow hopefully inshallah um yeah so i had to go get my bus pass made for like a week or something because that's all i can afford right now a week bus pass uh, ideally i'd get a month because it's cheaper that way but yeah so i was just getting ready to go to the shower and i was just grabbing my things that i need i need my hair products oh my god there's so many of them i use like all these different gels and like mousses and stuff because my hair is wavy and i'm like on this journey which i've mentioned in like every single one of my videos the last couple of months so yeah but um so far today i haven't read quran because obviously like i said i prayed as well and then i went out to do what i had to do like the little errands of doing my bus pass and everything i have actually prayed but i've yet to read quran so i'm gonna read quran after i come out of the shower hopefully close to usr time yeah even before usr if i want to because usr doesn't start to like after six o'clock so yeah i've just got a private number calling me on my phone i'm not gonna answer that because i'm too scared of who that would be um Unless it's the job centre. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop you guys in case it's the job centre. I'm gonna ring, answer them. Okay, I missed the call, and obviously, since it's a private number, I can't ring back. So, we'll just see if they ring back. But, anyways, I'm gonna get ready for the shower now. I'm just gonna wait for them to see if they ring me back. And then I'm gonna read my some Quran after that, I think. But yeah, um, it's raining today. The weather's so bad, so it's just been a bit meh again. Okay, I'll catch you guys later, close to Ifdari time, I guess. Maybe, yeah, probably. I don't know what I'm doing with these vlogs, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a little bit later now, it's 10 past 8, um, Iftari's in like half an hour which is amazing. Um, I was just downstairs, I've had a shower clearly, my hair is starting to do its thing. I put gel in my hair and stuff, if you follow my main channel you'll know what I do. <laughs> so it looks a bit crazy, Ugh, oh god. Anyways, um, get distracted very easily um i was just downstairs half a mom prepare iftari and it's gonna be really good i'm really really excited about iftari for some odd reason like i'm just genuinely so excited so we have like cauliflower cheese which i know sounds boring but we added a lot to it we added like obviously asian spices have to be done has to be done um we added like we try we're trying corn mints for the first time so like fake mints basically my mom saw it in like Aldi in like the freezer and she was like, let's try it. And I was like, okay, then it's not a problem. It doesn't taste of anything anyway. You've got to add spices and all sorts of it adapts to the taste of whatever the dish is. So it'll taste very much like regular Asian mints, the way we make it because we've added all of our regular spices to it. Um, so we mixed that into it. We've also got roasted vegetables and roasted potatoes and roasted parsnips. Um, never had honey glazed parsnips before but they're not going to be just honey glazed my mom's added other stuff to it like chili powder and stuff like that so we'll see but i've never had parsnips in general i don't think 
at least not that I remember. Anyways, um, it was really good. It looks really good though. Um, it smells really good now that it's in the oven. So we left everything in the oven. Everything needs about 40 minutes or so. And we put it in just before eight o'clock. So hopefully everything will be ready by flurry time, hopefully. Uh, we put the roast vegetables and the potato in before eight o'clock though, because that usually requires more time. But yeah, so I haven't managed to be grown yet, but um, I think I might be able to read a bit more later, but I'm gonna go help her like clean up. Okay, so I ran out of space on my other SD card, so I actually don't know what it was saying because I've just deleted space, deleted stuff on this new SD card that it's for. But anyway, I think I was saying something about how I haven't read Gran yet today. Um, I have time now, but I don't know if I can because there's only like half an hour left to off Dari, and I need to have my mom like set up the table and clean and everything. Around. So I don't even know why I came upstairs to be honest. Oh, wait, I came to turn on the radiator. We have a radiator like further in the hallway closer to my brother's room because he's at the end i needed to turn that radio on because he's put his towel to like towel like dry on there because obviously he had a shower earlier so i had to turn that on for him because he doesn't have to turn it on so yeah <laughs> that's why i came up i was just like why did i even come up i don't know that's why i came up um so yeah i don't know when i'll be able to read ground hopefully i can read it in a bit um but i'm gonna try and sleep early today so i don't know let's see um hopefully inshallah i'll be able to i don't know we'll see my goal isn't to like finish the Quran in the whole Ramadan like honestly I know that's a lot of people's goals obviously that is the goal for most people my goal is just to try and read a little bit every single day because um I need to take baby steps because it's not something I do frequently I read namaz pretty much every single day I think I'm good with my namaz like my prayers um Quran is something that's a bit of a struggle for me um it has been for a couple of years now even though my namaz has been like on track now for the last couple of years Quran has been something that I struggle to read every single day so that's just something I'm trying to do myself. That's just a personal goal kind of thing. Um, it's not necessarily like, oh, I want to try and complete it in the whole room. Then if I do, great. Very good. If I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up for it kind of thing. So other than that, I haven't got anything else to tell you guys until iftari time. So I will take the camera down with me now and I will film when iftari happens. Okay. <laughs> Salam guys, hi. Wow. Um, I am really, really tired. I'm really tired. Um, yeah. I just got back about half an hour ago. It's quarter past seven. I got in about half six-ish, I think. Just after half six. Oh, I am beyond tired. This is my first Ramadan where I'm like working while fasting. Wow, I didn't realize how hard it would be. <laughs> oh, I'm just really tired. And I'm also really hungry today. I thought by being out and doing things, like working and stuff, like I would be like, my mind would be occupied and I wouldn't feel hungry. But oh my God, my stomach is like, I feel like it's eating me <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, I don't know if what I had for Sahari. Sahari wasn't enough to fulfill me. Normally I have porridge and I had something else this morning, as you would have saw for the clips. And I feel like maybe it wasn't fulfilling enough. I'm not too sure. But anyways, I'm just very tired. Let me just put that straight. I've already said that a million times. But I'm home. I prayed to her at work because they have a prayer room there. So that's perfect. And now I need to pray a sort of before. If Dari time comes around. So I need to change out these clothes. And do budu and then pray a sort Oh, there I go again, yawning. That is all for today. <laughs> I'm just very tired. Oh, it was my first day. So clearly I'm very tired. Mm. Anyways, I will see you guys in a bit when it's the story time. I need to, I need to get out of these clothes and we'll do and pray. Because that's the most important thing right now, to pray. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Hi guys. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I always come on camera with my pimple patches on, my retainers in. Looking like this. It's fine. I just finished praying Dravi. Um, it's 12.20 now, um, I read a bit of Quran as well, hence why it's like 12.20 now, I was supposed to go to bed at 12 because I need to get like, I try and get in at least 3 hours sleep before waking up for Sehri or Suhoor, however you call it I know there's debates about whether you call it Sehri or Suhoor I know the correct like Arabic term is Suhoor but like I'm Pakistani and we call it Sehri <laughs> so yeah anyways 
so before I wake up for 30 I'm trying to sleep a little bit because then afterwards I only get like two hours sleep and honestly like it's not that great the first day has been dread like draining being out for the first day but I'm sure it'll get better but anyways um I forgot to film my food for Iftari but it's fine it was really simple food it was like chapati and curry so like roti salon um yeah pretty much it was really simple food um which I'm more than happy about because I can't be eating kind of like greasy oily food every single day. I don't mind it too, sometimes occasionally in Ramadan but yeah I can't have it all the time so it's nice just to have a bit of like you know chapati and curry or like rice and stuff so yeah but anyways I'm about to go sleep now um I just need to do my skincare that's why I've got these pimple thingies on because oh my god like I don't know what happened like I don't know if it was the stress while I was there at the workplace <laughs> like I started breaking out on my chin it was so bad like I don't know what happened it was my body like because of like the lack of water obviously I'm trying to drink more water but like there's only so much you can drink because then you just end up going to the toilet and pee and get all out I don't know about any of anybody else but I have a small bladder so like I literally go to the toilet after like 10 minutes of drinking water so yeah I think it's probably the lack of water that's made me break out probably so that's fun but it's fine um so yeah i haven't really had a chance to read grant today so then i just that's why i just read it now a little bit i did barely read anything i read like three to four pages which is barely anything but i thought i'd read a little bit something before i go to sleep i've downloaded an app on my phone um let me see if i'm gonna show it to you guys oh i was looking at a video on instagram <laughs> uh wait hang on it's called grant english let me try and show it to you guys this is what it looks like. It's called Grand English. Um, and it has like, so I can click read Grand, obviously. So it breaks it down by Sure. If you can see, like, oh, it's not very clear at all. Well, I accidentally pressed it. Oh, ads. That's the only annoying thing about this, these Anna apps is that the ads and stuff, like, obviously, because they're like, you know, they're not paid. Uh, um, like apps, they're free apps, but it has like the surah, so I don't know if you'll be able to see them very well. But like Surah Fatiha, Al Fatiha, Al Bakra, you know, and so on, kind of thing. It's not clear at all. <laughs> How do I show it to you guys? Oh my god, can you guys see? Is it still not focusing? It's probably not going to focus, but anyways, then we can go over to this side, which is like the juz, so it breaks it down by like juz of C, like. We have the Jews, like chapters, I guess is what you'd call them. We used to call them spare when I was in Masjid, like when I used to be in learning when I was a kid. We used to call them spare, so but, but I guess the proper term is Jews. Um, and then it's like bookmark section, which is cool. Um, and then like, for instance, if I just open up Surah Bak Surah Fatiha, uh, Fatiha, one second, where is it there? Oh my God, my phone's just flipping out. So like it has it in Arabic and then it has the English too, which is handy. And it also like, um, kind of like give you audio too if I just put my volume down a little bit if I play so that's nice that I can like listen to it too yeah but the problem is that you kind of have to download um, like the sude or the juz that you want to like listen to so so far i have al fatiha and then al bakra which is the second surah downloaded i guess um yeah and what i'm going to try and do is listen to it on the bus because i have like an hour journey there and an hour back well it's not like a full hour but like considering traffic it can become up to an hour it's like that's like a good way to use my time on the bus like just put my headphones in and listen to some Quran I guess is a good way because normally on the buses I don't listen to music anyway I usually listen to audiobooks um, but I my audiobook app doesn't have any like nice Islamic books or anything um, I'm sure if I had Audible that would definitely have some Islamic books but I don't really pay for Audible I have a different app that I use um, so yeah but um, so that one's a bit more like it's like selected titles and selected books on there, so there's not many options on that one. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna go back to Audible. I haven't decided yet anyway, but but anyways, yeah. Normally I just listen to audiobooks on the bus. But um yeah, so I thought I could listen to this stuff and I downloaded that and it seemed really cool. I never downloaded a grown up on my phone before because my old phone that I used to have used to have such low amount of space, but now I have a newer phone, like you know, it has better space on it, like it has so much more internal memory and stuff like that, so, and it's faster and newer and all that, so, it's great. So anyway, I'm gonna go sleep now, it's hitting close to half past 12 and I need to wake up at 3, obviously, just like anybody else needs to. 
um yeah and i don't know how long this vlog has been so far because i kind of put like combine a couple of days together so i don't actually know how long this has been so far because i haven't started editing anything yet but it's friday now currently but in the next part of the vlog you guys will see for sehri um it's friday now um so maybe i'll see on friday when i come back from work see if there's anything like if i can start editing it or something i'll see because i shouldn't be too tired then because it's friday but anyways um that is all i just wanted to let you guys know what i've done today so far after like after my updates earlier so yeah um, i'm gonna go now <laughs> okay bye you guys see ya steady guys so i technically haven't vlogged since every time so hello hi guys salam hope you're doing good hope your day was good today it's friday it was the first jumma of ramadan which is really nice why is that light on <laughs> sorry i get distracted really easily but anyways i just prayed a and that's why i'm wearing my scarf though clearly i'm gonna go downstairs now though because i read a quite late today because i fell asleep when i got home <laughs> I'm um, working life, I guess. I'm get I'm getting used to it. Um, I'm sure it'll be something else, a daily occurrence. Um, especially during Ramadan. Like obviously the lack of sleep, it just makes you want to take naps throughout the day and stuff. And obviously my only time is when I come back home. And I got home around half six, I think six half six. It's almost half eight. It's like eight twenty ish, eight twenty. Yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna go down and help my mom. Obviously for iftari, and my dad and brother got into the mosque across the road because they're doing like an iftari there. They do it pretty much every single day. And one of the mosque men. Mosque men, is that the right term? Mulvi, I don't think he was a, he's a Mulvi. Some, he's associated with the mosque somehow. He saw my dad um, when he, my dad was like doing something. I think he was like sorting out the car. He's parking up his car. I have no idea. But he saw my dad and he was like, oh, why don't you come over like and stuff? Like bring your son and stuff. And like, you know, because your neighbours and stuff and everything. And like, yeah, because we live like, across the road to the mosque, which is really nice actually. But yeah, so my dad and brother are going to go there for Iftari. So I'm going to have my mom now make what we gotta make for us girls as ladies it's just easier for us to stay at home even though the mosque is right across the road it's just easier for us to stay at home to do everything um because my dad is probably gonna still eat when he comes back knowing him because he still likes home food so yeah um but yeah i'm gonna go down now but yeah today hasn't been too bad um i think because of the sedi i ate the food i ate for suhoor i had porridge as you might have seen from the clip and um, i felt a lot better today because the day before which was thursday um I had um, egg on bread because I was trying to use up the bread because we like, had bread, a loaf of bread in the house and it was going to go off. So I was trying to use it up. So I thought, oh, I'll have egg on bread. Like I made like scrambled eggs and stuff um, and stuff like that. And I thought maybe the eggs, the protein of the eggs will keep me going, but it didn't. And the carbs in the bread weren't enough. So porridge is definitely the one um, that I had porridge, obviously. So yeah. Um, so I like porridge and I put like chia seeds in there, flax seeds and yeah all that good stuff so i really think that's the one for me like i don't know why i tried to like steer away from that because i ate that pretty much most the last ramadan too um and it does get boring that's the problem so you gotta have different fruits to change things up but yesterday I just well today for sadly i just had banana on it and it was fine but anyways yeah so i think i was feeling a bit better today because of that reason because i had like porridge and i know it's really filling and stuff so i didn't really feel hungry or anything i didn't feel too tired um until i got like home like i fell asleep on the bus which is a normal thing for me. I fall asleep on the bus like all the time. Um, and then I fell asleep when I go home. So now, yeah. So I prayed also quite late. But yeah, I also listened to some Quran this morning on the bus. Like I told you guys about the app that I have now. So I listened to... Wait. Surah after Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Baqarah, I think. Only a little bit of it though. Because I only I was on the bus for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. That's it. So I listened to that when I was on the bus journey because I thought, you know, what better way to use my bus journey and just put my headphones and earphones in and listen to that because normally when I'm on a bus, I listen to audiobooks. So I thought, why not just listen to some Quran? So, yeah, it was like, it's handy. I never used to have um, Quran apps on my phone because, like, yeah, I just never did. I just, I don't know why, to be honest. Um, but it's pretty handy, I guess, to have them on your phone. Obviously, I still read from my actual physical Quran, which I haven't done yet, but hopefully I'll do later. Because I did that yesterday as well. I read a few pages after Taravi, so maybe I'll do that again today, especially since it's Friday now and it's like the weekend tomorrow. I can like stay up a bit more and read Quran and stuff. Because like, you know, I can like just rest, sleep in more tomorrow. Like I can wake up early in the afternoon and stuff. So yeah. Um, so that's why I'm going to go down now and out my mom. But yeah, just updating you guys on what's been going on. My skin is freaking out. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go down now. So yeah. Okay. 
I'll catch you guys for iftari time. Um, I don't know what the food is going to be, but you'll see when I do like the clip of the spread of food. <laughs> so, bye. Salam guys, wow, the light is really bright. Oh, I'm gonna step away. And I have my holsters in the background now, but okay. Um, that's better, there we go. Okay, so I'm awake. It's nearly four o'clock. I have been awake for a little while. Don't don't worry, I haven't been sleeping the whole day away. Um, I have prayed as well, her, um, but I just got dressed into like some actual clothes that weren't my pajamas just like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I haven't read some Quran yet but inshallah I'll be reading some soon maybe around Usr time I think it's a good time because I can't say then I pray Usr and then it's like a good time to like get my Quran out and read some Quran I think because usually around that time there's not too much going on so yeah so today is a bit of a cleaning day I think because of Ramadan I usually on a normal day like when Ramadan isn't here I would normally clean so my mom just came in so obviously I just stopped recording um so yeah, what was I saying? I was going to let me sit down off a bit. I want it. I'm so like out of focus and everything today. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, yeah, normally on normal days when there isn't Ramadan, um, I clean usually on a Sunday. Like I do vacuuming around the whole house and anything else that I may need doing. Normally I do that on a Sunday, whatever needs requiring. Usually it's only vacuuming. So I like I vacuum all the bedrooms. I vacuum the stairs if I have enough time. The stairs take a bit more effort and sometimes the battery runs out because I have a cordless vacuum. Um, I really like it. I got it for my birthday. My hala gave it to me for my birthday, my mom's sister. Um, she gifted it to me for my birthday and it was also like a housewoman gift too. Like she specifically asked what I wanted and I was like, I kind of want a cordless shark vacuum, please. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's what me, when I turned 22, I asked for my birthday present, fun, adulting. Um, but yeah, usually I just vacuum the rooms, the hallways and stuff, um, the stairs if I have time, but obviously if the battery runs out, I just leave it and then I do them like midweek or wherever or the next week. And then sometimes I find time at the downstairs as well. We have laminating all downstairs, but like I can still vacuum the floors too if it requires more. I'm usually brushes downstairs though, so sometimes I don't have to, but um, yeah. So today I need to vacuum the stairs because I didn't do it last Sunday, uh, but yeah. Um, but because it's Ramadan, like I've been waking, I feel like I'm gonna be waking up late on weekends because, like, obviously today's Saturday and I woke up like around Zohar time. It was around one ish, one half one, I think. It was a bit later today because obviously I, I woke up early for the last two days and I was a bit like, whoa, like shocked to the system kind of thing. Um, but because of Ramadan, obviously I feel like because the lack of sleep we get during the week, especially, um, I feel like I'll be making up for sleep on the weekends. So. Sundays might be a bit stressful to do all the cleaning and like to shower, wash my hair like I normally would do. Like, oh my god, you scared me. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. So like on Sundays, it's usually like cleaning, showering, washing my hair, getting ready for the week to come, like the Monday coming up and stuff. So I feel like because of Ramadan, if I'd be waking up late, I'll be quite stressful to get all of that done in one day. So I think during Ramadan, I'll move most of my cleaning stuff to to Saturdays and then Sunday I'll just do the other things like you know showering washing my hair ironing clothes preparing for the week ahead kind of thing stuff like that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today it's taken me a long time to say this because everyone keeps interrupting me but anyways I'm gonna do that today I'm just gonna create a list now of what I have to do just so I'm aware like what I need to do because lists are my best friend if you didn't know your girl loves lists so yeah I'm just gonna make a list and then yeah and maybe I will take you guys down so you can like sit propped up in the kitchen while I'm cleaning <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna do that now but my sister wants to come to my room so I'm gonna stop filming so she can come back because you guys saw her walk in there so okay <laughs>
hi all so um welcome to today it's sunday i forgot to vlog this morning for Sehri but i was running insanely late <laughs> i was supposed to stay awake which i did in my defense um after praying to ravi like i was just in my bed you know do some things on my laptop so some stuff out and then i fell asleep in bed with my laptop <laughs> um so then i ended up waking kind of late so yeah um, and then I was really late to actually make my food for Sadie because I make porridge pretty much most mornings and I, I don't like overnight oats. I don't know why I just don't. So I usually make them fresh every single Sadie in the morning. So yeah, so that was a struggle. So I forgot to vlog. So yeah, and uh, all day I haven't done much. I actually ended up um, vacuuming more today. Like I managed to not be able to finish it all yesterday because the battery on my, what's it called, called this vac died. So I had to charge it up. And then I vacuumed more today, which wasn't my intention, but I did. And it's been a bit weird. I've been feeling so lethargic today. I've got a really bad headache. Um, I can't wait for Thari, mainly so I can have a cup of tea and some paracetamol, mainly. Oh, my head is killing so much, but we're doing okay. It's just gone past seven. It's like quarter past seven now, so we haven't got very long, like an hour or so. Um, I've prayed to so just now, that's why I picked up the camera to remember to vlog. I was gonna do some editing now so I can get some of these videos up and out to you guys. So when you're seeing these, like, yeah. Cause I don't know when you guys are seeing these, I have no idea. And I'm feeling, yeah, just lethargic and stuff and I've got a headache, like I said. I'm waiting for my sister to finish in the shower so I can go because I need to wash my hair. It's disgusting, which is why I've got my hood on. <laughs> it's not, it does not, it does not look good at all. That is all for today. Nothing else has happened. I will keep you guys updated if I do anything else. I haven't read Quran yet. I need to do that. I need to read some Quran. Maybe I'll do it around Thoravi time, maybe. It's a nice time to read after Thoravi time, I think. I read it after Thoravi quite a lot these past few days. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll catch you guys at the Iftari time, I guess. Yeah, alright, bye.